what is the use of trying to communicate with spirits, energies from other dimensions if we do not even know how to communicate with ourselves. My name is Alejandro Santiago and I'm in beautiful Huatulco here. I wanted to share this because I think it's super important. Tata Julio Reyes, he always stresses and, and the indigenous elders usually, they stress a lot that we need to live presently. We need to live here. And Why now. look to communicate uh, with the spirits or the people from the Pleiades or from Cyrus or from the underworld or from any other dimension if we haven't learned how to communicate with us, how to listen to us, how to listen to our bodies. And it's really crazy how in this culture we're not taught to do that. I mean, there are many ways, but it's very simple. It's just like, how do I feel right now? How does my body feel? How do I feel when I'm here in the ocean, when I'm with certain type of people, when I'm doing a certain activity? How does that feel to me, in my body, in myself? And that is a way in which we can communicate with ourselves one way to communicate with ourselves and to understand ourselves and with this understanding there comes a greater sensitivity towards life and to communicate with other communities in other realms natural realms or other spiritual spiritual realms if you have any techniques that can help you ground yourself and be present please share and please leave your comments. Thank you very much for watching.